For one year, I traveled around South America to create my best time-lapse video yet. This is how it went down. When you Google driving in Peru, everybody says that you should not do it. Uh, it's too dangerous. But to be honest, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, the roads around uh, Cusco, the main roads, are in good conditions. Uh, the drivers are a little bit crazy, so you have to pay attention all the time because they can do uh, very weird stuff. Uh, the good thing though is that you don't have to care about the pedestrians because nobody cares about the pedestrians here. I made it to the base of what's probably the second most popular tourist attraction near Cusco after Machu Picchu and that is the Rainbow Mountain. I'm really really excited to be able to time lapse this. I haven't seen any time lapses from this place before but it sure looks stunning. Uh, I want to avoid the big tourist masses so uh, that's why I'm gonna go up as always in the morning. So it's about two hours, three, three hours walk. Uh, it's pretty tough. Uh, the Rainbow Mountain is at 5,200 meters, I think. So it's gonna be a lot tougher than yesterday. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be amazing. I'm packing my stuff for the hike tomorrow. Um, since it's such a tough hike, I think I'm only gonna bring one time-lapse camera, uh, the A7R 3 and maybe three lenses, maybe the Gini Mini and then leave the rest at home because otherwise I think it will be too tough to hike. Another 2 a.m. wake up and I started walking. Not looking particularly forward to this hike. A lot of people I met in Cusco said that it's the toughest hike they've ever done. So I'm just hoping that they were a bit inexperienced. But yeah, it's it's not a very long hike, it's all about the altitude, so we'll see how it goes. It's freezing cold, but otherwise, very nice weather. I'm about halfway and it is indeed quite tough. Uh, but my biggest problem right now is that all the mountains are covered in snow um, And I'm gonna capture the rainbow mountain which is famous for the uh, Colors in on the ground. So if there's snow on top of it, I can't see it, but Okay, let's hope that there's not too much snow up there So I made it to the top two hours and a little bit 
uh, pretty tough, but not too bad. Uh, not the worst hike I've ever been to by far. Fortunately, it looks like the mountain is not covered in snow, just a little bit. So I think that can look really nice in the time lapse. Uh, I spent a little less time than I was expecting to walk up here. So I have quite a bit of time here on the top uh, and it is super cold, I guess, negative 10, maybe a little more. I'm alone right now. Uh, there are fortunately no other people here. So I have the mountains for myself. Maybe there will come up a few other people for the sunrise. It's 10 minutes to sunrise. I'm still all alone. Uh, it's getting brighter. Uh, so you can see the colors more clearly in the mountain. And it is absolutely stunning. One of the coolest places I've been. And to be able to have the whole place to myself is just amazing. Beautiful sunrise here. Unfortunately, the mountain is here. I'm still getting some nice clouds here. Hopefully, the sun will break through the clouds here and shine some light over at the mountain. So the sun broke through the clouds and look at this. It's some of the most amazing colors I've ever seen. This hike has definitely been one of my highlights of my South American trip so far. And to be able to be here alone with no other people, having the whole place to myself is absolutely amazing. Um, I can imagine it being full of people here during the day. When I'm going back down now, I think I'll meet tons of people going up. So sometimes uh, you get a reward for waking up at 2 a.m. in the morning. In the next episode, I explore the picture-perfect desert in Huacachina, Peru.